In Career Parametric 10, we added a dedicated tree for cabling application. And now in Creo 11, we have expanded on what we have built before with some new and handy enhancements. If you recall, in previous release, we only supported stiff shrinks as cosmetic features. Well, I'm happy to report that now, in Creo 11, we support all cabling cosmetic features. This includes markers, tie wraps, branch tapes, and tapes, in addition to stiff shrinks, of course. All cosmetics can now be found under their dedicated folders in the cabling tree in Cables and Bundles views. Under each cosmetic feature we can see all relevant items such as reference locations or segments and spools, and everything can be cross-selected with the model tree and the graphics area. Another improvement is regarding splices, inline connectors and custom components. We haven't displayed splices and custom components in the cabling tree in previous release. We only listed inline connectors in the connectivity view, but they were identical to other connectors in their display. Splices, as you know, join parts of a wire together. The name of the wire and the distance from a connector to a connector remains the same after the splice is inserted. We have now added a new folder for splices that is available in all views of the cabling tree. This folder lists all the splices in the active harness, the wires that are joined by the splice, and the attachment references. Inline connectors consist of a plug and a socket that divide a cable into two separate cables, but they preserve the signal continuity between them. When attached to an existing cable, it creates two distinct cable segments. To make it easier to distinguish them from regular connectors, they now have a different icon. In the connectivity view. And lastly, custom components. Custom components are similar to splices but they don't have any parameters. They're mainly used for cabling non-cosmetic auxiliary models uh, that do not require any reference designation, such as tie wraps or marker models for example. Similar to splices, there is now a new folder for custom components in the cabling tree. This folder will list all the custom components, wires that go through them, and their attachment references. This folder will appear in the cables and bundles views of the cabling tree. For all these new additions to the cabling tree, we have added new filters to control their visibility. Finally, we tweaked the cabling tree to make it more user-friendly with some subtle usability changes. The first node in the tree now shows the active harness name instead of the view name. Terminators show the name instead of the IDs, and networks are at the top of the tree structure to match the harness hierarchy a little bit better. With this update to the cabling tree, we now have full visibility into our harness structure. I hope you will find this update helpful, and if you do, I will appreciate any feedback on how we can make it even better in our community ideas forum.